Hi you guys, welcome. Welcome to Audrey Reading Area. Today's t-shirt, Thursday. T-shirt, Thursday. <laughs> yeah, I hope I don't fall off of this thing like Big Bird just did. This is Big Bird. So I guess you have a little clue as to what my theme is today. The theme in the books that I'll be reading, the book that I'll be reading to you today. You see all my little friends up here. Oh yeah. <laughs> all right. Today's T-shirt Thursday. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to click share. Don't forget at the end of this video, go on over to YouTube to Audrey's Reading Area and smash that subscribe button for me. Yes. Don't forget to pounce on, pound, hammer, punch the notification tab so you can be notified every single time I upload a new video to YouTube here at Audrey's Reading Area. So, yes. Big Bird brings spring to Sesame Street. Big Bird brings spring to Sesame Street. Look at that. Yes, I know summer just started. I might be a little bit late, but doesn't matter. Enjoy the book. You're going to enjoy it. All right. Big Bird brings spring to Sesame Street. This is a little golden book. It's featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets. Sesame Street, can you tell me how to get, how to get to Sesame Street, yeah, by Lauren Collier Swindler, illustrated by Marsha Winborn, and it's, again, it's featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets, yeah, I had to push my camera way back so I could try to get all these guys in here, yeah, now, let's do some reading. You guys ready for this adventure? Big Bird, this guy right here, he looked down Sesame Street. Everything was covered with a thick layer of white snow. Big Bird sighed. It had been a long winter. He was tired of looking at plain white snow. <laughs> Big Bird walked through the park and thought about all the things he couldn't do because of the snow. He couldn't ride his unicorn, uh, his unicycle down Sesame Street. He couldn't play in the sandbox in the playground. He couldn't roller skate on the sidewalk. Oh. Besides, winter is so gloomy, thought Big Bird. I wish spring were here. Suddenly, Big Bird had a wonderful idea. I'll buy some flowers to put in my nest then it will look like spring is already here. <laughs> Make it look like spring. <laughs> so Big Bird walked down to Mr. McIntosh's store and he bought six of his favorite flowers. I feel better already, thought Big Bird as he walked back towards Sesame Street with his bouquet of six beautiful flowers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On the way to his nest, Big Bird stopped at the Count's castle. Ah, Big Bird, what beautiful flowers, cried the Count. Let me count them. One beautiful flower, two, two beautiful flowers, ah, 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 three, four, five, six, six beautiful flowers, ah, 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 ah. Big Bird, I love counting your beautiful flowers. <laughs> I used to be able to mimic, imitate the, the, the count really well. I think I might have lost it. Gee, I didn't buy the flowers to count them, said Big Bird. I bought them to remind me of spring. Would you like to keep this pretty pink daisy? You can count all of its petals. Wonderful, cried the count. I also love counting flower petals. One pretty pink flower petal, two, two pretty pink flower petals, three. <laughs> Big Bird walked down Sesame Street carrying his five flowers. He stopped to watch Maria shovel snow from the sidewalk in front of the fix-it shop. Can you guys see? I'm trying to make this thing stand still. In front of the fix-it shop. 
Maria slipped and fell in the snow. <gasps> oh, Maria, are you hurt? Asked Big Bird as he helped her stand up. No, Big Bird, I'm not hurt, but I am tired of winter and shoveling snow, she said. Here, Maria, said Big Bird, you may have one of my flowers. It will help you feel happy again. Thank you, Big Bird, said Maria, taking the orange tiger lily. Tiger. Aw. Big Bird walked on down Sesame Street with the four flowers he had left. He found Grover sitting sadly on the steps. My guy right here, Grover. Oh, oh my goodness, said Grover unhappily. Furry old Grover is very blue. Get it? He's, he's blue. <laughs> of course you are blue, said Big Bird. You have blue fur. No, no, Big Bird. I mean, then I'm very sad, explained Grover. I cannot ride my scooter in the snow. Maybe this blue pansy will make you feel better, said Big Bird as he gave it to Grover. Aw, he gave them a blue pansy flower. Big Bird looked down at his three flowers, and he noticed that one of them was bent over. Uh-oh, said Big Bird, holding up the purple iris. This flower's stem is broken. The lid of the trash can can clanged open. I love things that are broken, said Oscar the Grouch, leaning out of his can. Well, gee, Oscar, I guess, I guess you may have this, my purple iris. He likes broken things. That's Oscar. Anything ragged or rotten or rusty. I know you guys know. <laughs> he loves trash. Thanks, bird, said Oscar. Grouches like flowers that are bent and broken. <laughs> he grabbed the purple iris and slammed down the lid of the trash can. Big Bird clutched his last two flowers. Then, then, then he saw Ernie. Hi, Big Bird, said Ernie. You look cold. I'm so cold my tail feathers are frozen, answered Big Bird. Where are you going? I'm going to see Betty Lou. She's sick in the bed with the flu. <laughs> I wish I had something to take her, to her to cheer her up. Aw. Aw. Oh, said Big Bird, looking down at his last two flowers. Do you think she would like a yellow daffodil? Oh, yes. Thank you, Big Bird. Ernie took the flower and went to 123 Sesame Street. Probably went to 238th Street also. I'm just saying. Inside joke. Big Bird went into Hooper's store to get warm. Bird was sitting at the counter, sadly sipping his fizzy, his figgy fizz. What's wrong, Bert? asked Big Bird. You look kind of glum. I've lost my favorite paper clip, wailed Bert. I dropped it in a snowdrift. Now I'll have to wait until the snow melts to find it. Oh, Big Bird. What if my paper clip gets all rusted by then? Aw. Don't worry, Bert, said Big Bird. Your paper clip will still be there in the spring. Oh, Big Bird, sighed Bert. Then he looked at the single rose Big Bird was holding. Say, what are you going to do with that beautiful rose, he asked. Arr, arr, I'm going to give it to you, Bert. Big Bird gave Bert his last flower and left Hooper's store. Isn't Big Bird a nice guy? Mm -hmm. Empty-handed, Big Bird walked back up Sesame Street toward his nest. He had given away all six of his flowers. All six of them. Oh, well, he thought, soon it will be spring. When he got to the lamppost, Big Bird turned around. Sesame Street looked different. The plain white snow-covered street was splashed with bright colors. The flowers Big Bird had given to his friends were blooming up and down Sesame Street. Big Bird had brought spring to Sesame Street. Even in the snow, look at that. Aw. The end. Aw. Wow. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for being here and supporting me and listening and letting your kids listen to me read fun and exciting books like this on this t-shirt Thursday. <laughs> yes. Big Bird brings spring to Sesame Street. He did, didn't he? Well, again, thank you. I got a shout out to my mom who is always here. Her name is Bev. Thank you, thank you, mom. Mwah. Love you for being here always, every day. My girl, Elsa Rumpf. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in and listening to me read fun and exciting books like this. CC, love you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Love you, girl. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support all the time. Let's see who else has tuned in can't see anybody if anybody else is here i apologize in advance i am just too sorry <laughs> because um sometimes it doesn't show who's here but i know my friend born always tunes in and clicks like on it i know my cousin ellie and my girl victoria always tune in and they always share my videos like every day thank you thank you thank you for the love and support you guys um today's Tuesday, Thursday, I will see you again tomorrow live at 5, that's live, L-I-V-E, live at 5, tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow, I'll see ya tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow, you guys. It's only a day away. <laughs> Don't forget, go on over to YouTube, smash that subscribe button for me, smash it. Yes, tell everybody about Audrey's reading area.